Okay, just drilled a hole in the bed there to uh, run my wires in to connect them to my bar there. And what I have here is I just have a piece of uh, like uh, vacuum line and I split it. I'm going to take some uh, some gasket maker and uh, or some silicone or something and I'm going to run it all the way around there then I'm going to stick this on there and uh, that way the, the wires won't get chafed. I don't have a a grommet that big. Um, I'm sure they make them but I don't have it so this is what I'm going to do for that. I'll run my uh, right now all I got is my backup lights and my parking light wires. Uh, I gotta run the other wires for my strobes uh, next. Okay, got my uh, backup light and parking light wire through the hole. I've um, got it just tested, stuck in the wire or the plug in there to test it out. Backup lights are on, parking lights on. Everything's looking good, so I'm going to finish wiring these up, the backup lights, and then I'm going to move on to the strobes now. Okay, I'm going to put show you how to uh, put together one of these uh, weather pack connectors. This is the one I got connected to my roll bar and I actually found my little box and I do I do have a a 6 one that I need. Um, so I'm going to show you how to uh, put the wire in this weather pack connector here. Okay, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to strip off um, the wire there, the end of the wire. Then you insert these little rubber things and that's actually what is going to seal up the connector um, along with this seal when it's plugged in. So that's what's going to seal it up. Okay then you're going to grab your little metal connector there's a male and a female. Um, this one, uh, you can see I got uh, female ones in there right now, so I need to put the male one on this end. And uh, I don't think I can do this with just one hand, but you're going to take this and stick it on there like that. And you're going to crimp this around the wire and then this one here you crimp that around your little your little rubber thing there your little seal I'll show you when I get it done here okay when you're done crimping that on you end up with something like this and then you're going to insert that I gotta get the other one done and then you insert that into one of these, just like this. I gotta figure out which one I'm going to. And that pushes in there and it locks, it locks in there. Then you close this up. Once I get all six of them in, I'll close that up and I'll lock it in there and it's almost like a, well it is like an OEM weather tight connection. Really nice deal. I need to get more of these because they're, they're really nice. I think I got this kit on eBay. It just come with an assortment of stuff. So I'm going to finish up that other one and uh, I guess now I can get back to uh, working on my strobes. 
Okay, there's the plug. There they are in there. You see how it's weatherproof. You see the little connectors in there. And uh, actually, if you if I want to take that apart, they got this tool here, and it pushes. You push that into the plug, and you can actually take them these apart. So it's pretty neat. Okay, I'm under the truck here, under the dash, looking for a spot to uh, plug. Uh, or looking for power to plug my strobe light into. And I have found a constant hot um, right here. These, these two are both actually uh, constant hot. So I'm going to run my plug if I can find it. I just stuck a, just crimped one of these uh, things on and I'm just going to plug it in there like that and I'm probably going to tap off this wire and do my other strobe, get power from my other strobe because these are, like I said, these are LED, they really don't draw much power so I'm not worried about overloading this one wire so I got that in now I've got to uh, I've got to ground this and uh, mount my switch under the dash I'm just running this one for now I'd like to make a nice switch bank sometime later on uh, mount my controller then I gotta run my wire back to my light bar in the back so I'm gonna run that through the dash here there is a hole I'm not gonna be able to show you but I run my plow stuff through it I'm gonna run the same same hole and run it down underneath the cab and then up through the box and uh, through the hole I just drilled down there so I'm going to get all that done and then uh, I'll show you what I got. Okay, now that I know that all the the lights are working here. Um, I don't have that uh, top one, the top strobe hooked up yet. You gotta run a few more wires. But uh, everything else is, uh, looks like it's working good. So um, I'm going to button up all my wires. Um, I'm, I'm, out of, I'm out of time tonight, so. I'm gonna button everything up now, clean up and uh, call it a night. Um, I, I just, uh, for the third brake light, I just tapped into the plug that is, uh, that plugs into the brake uh, switch right on the brake pedal. Um, that was pretty easy. Uh, for ground, I just, there was a, there's a bolt that holds uh, a dash support and I just uh, grounded grounded everything to that so um, not real hard you know wiring really isn't as difficult as uh, some people think it is you know you you uh, you know it's pretty much a power source and a ground it's, it's pretty pretty simple so like I said, uh, that's it for me tonight. I'm going to wire the top one some other time. I don't have time right now, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.